Hey everybody, this is Sergeant Schultz, and we're going to be going over uh, uh, writing equations in slope-intercept form. This is part two. Let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to write an equation of the line shown. Okay, here's this line right here going through those two points. I'm going to do it two ways to find the slope. The first way is I'm going to use the slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is my y2, this is my y1, so those go on top, and then uh, this goes on the bottom, 1 minus a minus 2. All right, so that minus a minus 2 becomes plus 2 on both of those, and you get 1 third. Another way to do that is rise over run. You always got to start with the leftest most point, so I'm going to go up 1 to the right 3. That's going to be my rise over run. Okay, up 1 to the right 3. So my slope is uh, 1 third, no, both ways, you guys. So y equals 1 third x plus b. All right, now I'm going to substitute in. You can put in any point. I'm going to substitute in this point. This is my x, this is my y, and I'm going to plug it into this equation to get b. All right, now I'm going to change that negative 1 <clears throat> to negative 3 thirds. So when I can uh, subtract 1 third, I have common denominators right here. Because this is just negative 1 right here. Negative 3 over 3, that's just this negative 1 right here. All right, so I'm, now I'm going to subtract off the 1 third on both sides. And negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So it's negative 4 thirds. That goes back up into uh, where the b goes. So y equals 1 third x minus 4 thirds. Don't let fractions scare you, you guys. They're not that bad. All right, they really aren't. Don't let them get to you. Here's another one. This one doesn't have any fractions. Okay, this one I'm going to use rise over run. So it goes down 3 to the right 1. Okay, so the slope is negative 3. So y equals negative 3x plus b. Substitute in a known point. I'm going to put the top point in this time. So you get positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Subtract 9 on both sides and you get negative 7. Okay, that goes back up into the equation. So the equation is y equals negative 3x minus 7. All right, so write an equation of the line that goes through these two points, negative 2, 5, and 2, comma, negative 1. All right, first you've got to find the slope. I got negative 6 fourths. Don't forget to reduce it to get negative 3 halves. <clears throat> okay, and then so I have y equals negative 3 half x plus b. I'm going to go ahead and substitute in uh, this point right here. Uh, this is my x, this is my y. So when I substitute that in, those 2's cancel. And then so negative 1 equals negative 3 plus b. Add 3 to both sides, and you get uh, uh, negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Okay, so let's put that back in where the b is over there. So y equals uh, negative 3 halves x plus 2. All right, so here's another one. Your, your gym membership costs you $33 a month after initial membership fee. Okay, so you have a fee on top of that to even start this $33 a month. So after six months, you've paid a total of $228. Okay, first thing I want you to do is write an equation that represents that total cost. So we're going to write it as in, in the form y equals mx plus b. And then uh, find the total cost after nine months. All right, so let's do the y equals mx plus b. So here we go. Now they wanted to call it a cost formula, so I'm going to make uh, your y be c. So your cost is going to be c equals mx plus b. Okay, m is your rate of change, how much you're, you're changing each month. So it's $33 a month, so that's what m is, okay? c is cost, and that's going to be the $228 right up there. I highlighted it in red. Okay, your rate of change, your monthly cost, which is your slope, is your 33 bucks. So 33 goes right there. Okay, and then so number of months uh, paid. So since we're dealing with the $228, I'm going to go ahead and insert the six months right there because after six months, so this is going to be six right here. That's where the 228 comes in. So I'm going to put 228 here, 33 here, and uh, six here, and I'm going to solve for B, okay, to get my equation. Okay, that's my membership B is the B part. All right, so I'm going to plug them in and then uh, subtract uh, 228 and you get b equals 30. So I know that my cost formula is c equals 33x plus 30. That initial fee is 30 bucks. Okay, so the next part is easy. You're just going to plug in uh, 9 uh, for your number of months for x. And so when you plug that in, you get $327.